Doing uh, four rows of single barrel. Yeah, I said that. Always pay attention. Man, I was still distracted by the sunglasses <laughs> crawling up my butthole. <laughs> also, today we are breaking Zach. <laughs> this video um, is kind of talking about uh, dirt road men and like who we are and what it's about. <laughs> Way markedly better than any of our guys. This is my favorite brand of cigar, the Monte Cristo Classic. The Constitution shall never be construed to prevent the people of the United States who are peaceful citizens from keeping their own art. <laughs> Hello everybody, I'm Jake. I'm Zach. We are the Dirt Road Men. Oh my god. <laughs> that was excellent! You should have done that after he hit the button. Uh, that's all good. Okay. Wow. So, we're here for another whiskey review of, of Four Roses Single Barrel. Now you picking them up and stuff? Oh, it's a notebook. Okay. No, okay, I thought we were doing the other video. You throw your notebook on the ground? I said it on the ground. No, we're doing that one later. Okay, well, my bad. I ripped it out. We're filming with the whiskey first so we don't mess up the taste. We want to have cigars for our other videos. We okay. look like a couple of badasses. I forgot. <laughs> Alright, anyway. So, today, we're doing uh, Four Roses Single Barrel. Yeah, I said that. Wait, well, pay attention. Man, I was still distracted by the sunglasses crawling up <laughs> my butthole. <laughs> Also today we are breaking Zach. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Four Roses, single barrel specifically, because they do taste different. Uh, marginally. <laughs> so, you want to tell the story while I drink the whiskey? Um, sure. So Four Roses has uh, ten recipes that they use to make their various and they get those that have five different yeast strains and two different mash bills and they mix and match them until they get ten and then for their regular four roses they uh, use them all for the single barrel I believe they use one recipe maybe two depending I don't know I couldn't find actual what that was. Oh yeah. Uh, people were saying different things. Yeah. But uh, uh, it's the company itself, Four Roses, uh, started in 1888 by Paul Jones Jr. Uh, he had a company before, and in 1884 is when he moved to Kentucky and trademarked the name. Uh, they have survived uh, Prohibition, the Great Depression both world wars and 40 years of exile from the United States. It started in the 60s and ended in 2002. Uh, they were exiled until 2002? Yeah, from the 19th, yeah, 1960 2002. Uh, so you know, they started you know, Four Roses and in 1922 they bought the Frankfurt Distillery Company and then in 1943, Seagram bought out the Frankfurt Distilling Company. Did not know that. Uh, just primarily just to get the name Four Roses. <laughs> and then, um, they were the most selling bourbon uh, in the 30s, 40s, and 50s. And then in the 60s, Seagram decided to discontinue all sales in the United States and just threw it out to the European and Asian markets. And they're still the top selling bourbon in Europe and uh, Japan today. I would be interested to know how expensive they are in Europe because you can get a bottle of the regular stuff for like 15 bucks, little man. Yeah. So. <laughs> um, in a 2002, Curran Brewery purchased Four Roses. 
trademark and uh, brought it back to the United States. And in 2011, 12, and 13, all three years in a row, Whiskey Magazine named Four Roses uh, American Whiskey Distiller of the Year. Now, they got their name, it's kind of a neat. Uh, oh, yeah, I really like the story. It goes with that. Movie esque. Uh, I hope it's true. Yeah, uh, they say it's true. Well, of course they do. <laughs> it's the marketing. Their founder, uh, what was his name? Paul Jones Jr. Uh, fell in love with a, as they put it, a Southern Belle, and he sent her a marriage proposal. Uh, she replied, if the answer was yes, at the upcoming uh, Grand Ball, she would wear a rose on her corsage. Or rose word, I don't even know what that is. You don't know what a corsage is? No. I guess you didn't go to the high school dances, did you? No. Um. Corsage, correct me if I'm wrong, Momo, who's on camera today. Uh, it's the, the flower thing we wear on the wrist, right? I do believe. Yeah, I do believe. <laughs> I do believe. I don't know what's up. Come on, man. You're supposed to know this stuff, too. Yeah, it's a corsage. I had to buy I had to buy uh, my wife one. Um, yeah, okay. I bought a couple of them there. They're, they're just like flowery things they wear on their wrist. It's, it's to kind of match your boutonniere. They wear a corsage. <clears throat> so what the flower actual definition? My... Yeah. Okay. Yes, it's the flower thing that was on your lapel at your wedding that that lady tried to fix on the magnets. <laughs> she pissed me off so bad it fell apart. Did you Google it? Yeah. All right, let's hear it. A spray of flower. Yeah, a spray of flowers worn to worn pin to a woman's clothes. Okay. okay. So what's a wrist thing? Is it just what I imagine? I think it's, that's still a corsage. It's still okay. a corsage. Okay. Yeah. But so, anyway, he goes to the ball and she is wearing four roses on her gown and he decided that uh, he was going to name his bourbon after that because he loved her and he loved his bourbon. So, he got your elbows on the table. That's bad manners. Where's Seth when you need him? I bet, huh? <laughs> yeah, Seth would be over here like, hey! Because elbows. it's a desk <laughs> and not a table. Bye! Anyway, sorry. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I really like the story. It, it, it would make a movie. It's cool. It's it's romantic. Um, if my wife actually drank whiskey, I totally would have got her this for Valentine's Day to be corny. Oh, yeah. Um, but my wife does not drink whiskey, although she she toughed it through some Highland Park. Yes, she did. I gotta give her that. Oh. Uh, but uh, I really like this whiskey on the nose. It's really uh, light, but but it's got it, it's got the classic bourbon notes and then kind of something extra on the nose. But I don't know if that's that extra flavor that I notice in the taste. Yeah, did you actually go through and fill yours out? I did it right here on camera. No, not on this. Okay. I was just going to look at one I was doing on the... One thing I noticed a lot more with this than... We started with... The first thing we had of Four Roses was a small batch. Uh, this is considerably better. Uh, kind of mind-blowing. Yeah, like... Like, if you're not going to get this, just go for the regular label. Um... I mean, it's considerably cheaper. This runs about 40 bucks a bottle around here, but it's really good. The only problem I have with it... Is I don't like cherry. You get a really strong cherry flavor in this, but the rest of it is so good that I don't mind. It's it's got the normal bourbon notes, you know, some vanilla, some caramel. I notice some honey on it a little bit. Yeah. You get that wood note, um, and of course the the, the cherry note kind of dominates more than anything else. Even uh, even Momo said that he hasn't been practicing. Uh, picking out flavors or anything near as much as we have. But, um, I mean, it's got a really rich flavor, and, and I really like it. I don't know what all you want to add. But... Uh, it was right there, and then, and then I say something, and, and you're like, yeah, it's, it's, um, yeah, it's definitely, definitely sweet on the nose. Kind of. mm -hmm. Which most bourbons are at least kind of sweet. But it, it's it's not like a super candy sweet. It's like a mix. No. Candy and the floral. And... 
Yeah, there are some, there's some floral notes. And it has kind of a... It's got like a medium to long finish that's, that's really nice. Yes. Like it's not too long, but it doesn't go away like that. Yeah. It's like right, right at that perfect middle ground. Um, I did have a little bit of this last night or yesterday. But you hadn't drank any in like a week. Okay, I had like half of this. Yeah. I'm just and, kidding. And uh, uh, <laughs> I, 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 that weird banana popped up. Oh yeah. Like uh, we haven't posted to Henry McKenna while we're filming this, but it'll be up before this is. And yeah, that was something we got banana in that threw me off. <laughs> like I'm Weird. sitting there. We'll have, um, to have you see if you can pull it. We watched back to back all three Hobbit movies. Man, how did you like Billy Connolly in that last one? I was trying to text you, but I had one percent uh, phone battery, and then it died. I know how that feels. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was great. Like I hear his voice, and I'm like, I knew it before I saw him. Yeah, I was just like, ah, ah, honey. That's basically what I was doing, but it was like this. <laughs> but yeah, we are we are way off the whiskey. But yeah, <laughs> you were drinking some while you were watching the Hobbit movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was mainly drinking Jim Beam, but I was like, yeah, let's have a little bit of this. Change it up a little bit. Yeah, so it's really good. Um, I. Man, my struggle, I'm gonna give this a seven. I would probably give it an eight, eight and a half if it weren't for that cherry takeaway for me. I'm gonna give it a seven. I enjoy the cherry. So yeah. I'm gonna give it uh, I'm give it an eight. Cool. Eight. So seven and a half for four roses single barrel. Uh, that's, that's a really good one. Also, we didn't thumbnail, so maybe we should uh, thumbnail at the end. I wish we could have that for a thumbnail. Yeah, <laughs> just John over there like, Fanning his cigarette smoke away from us. We're, we're gonna be. <laughs> it's not so much you guys. I don't care about you guys. There's a camera. Oh, thanks. Yeah, thanks, I buddy. Know. Yeah. Because in uh, a few minutes, we're gonna be smoking some cigars and. It still covers on camera because I'm so close. Yeah. My, <laughs> my wife complained about one of our. Uh, actually, it was our stand up for the flag video. It was <laughs> because uh, the room was so smoky because we have four people in here smoking cigars. So, no, we didn't have four people for this stand up for the flag. It was just us being huffing and puffing. Yeah. Puffing out. But anyway, um, I think that's it from us. So, uh, Zach and Jake for Dirt Road Men, uh, seven and a half, four roads. <laughs>